How is it going, everyone? It's Sam. It's all starting today. We have word that we already are seeing volume for some of the Bitcoin spot ETFs. We have new advertising that is absolutely crazy. I mean, I'm talking trillion dollar organizations talking about Bitcoin already. We have ARK Invest coming out and actually Kathy Wood talking about how much Bitcoin she actually owns. There's a lot going on. It's only going to get crazier. I believe we have CPI soon too. So be on the lookout for that. I'll probably talk about it in my next video. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification so you can see future videos just like this one. There's also a link down there to my Twitter in case you want to follow, follow me there. I post and repost and tweet a lot of the stuff that I talk about on the channel. So definitely check that out. There's also a link down there to Marjex where you can trade cryptocurrency. Uh, there, There's just... So much potential in this, especially going into a bull market. I want to talk about it and give you that link. Of course, if you're not comfortable with it, that's fine. But there's no KYC. You don't need a VPN and everything shows up on screen. So you don't have to scroll or do anything weird. Everything is right at your fingertips here. It's really easy to set up. As you can see, I do have some interesting long positions open. <laughs> They're up, uh, pretty good here on Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, so again, if you want to try that out, there's a link underneath the video. There's also a link down there to HG Access, where you can get access to some of the top creators in the space, ask them questions, see them on exclusive live streams, and get information you won't get anywhere else because we get we talk about crypto every single day with people on the inside of different companies. So definitely check that out underneath the video. Now, let's take a look at the market because it's doing quite well. Bitcoin is sitting right around 47,200, Ethereum up 11.5%, up to 26,050, BNB up 6.5%, Solana up 11%, XRP up 10%, pretty much everything is up today. You can see some cryptos like Polkadot and Cardano up 20%. Let's just sort by the last 24 hours. Ethereum name service, ENS, up 52%, Ethereum Classic up 48%, SUI up 34%. So a lot of things having to do with Ethereum up significantly. Helium up 20%. Uh, I might have some information on them soon. I'm actually talking with the company about doing some work with them. But as you can see, just a great day in crypto. The whole market up 3.58%. Let's move on to what's happening though. I, obviously, the last 24 hours have been kind of nuts. And we've had some liquidations over the last 24 hours. We've had about 300 million liquidated, more shorts than longs, as you can kind of tell by the price anyways. But uh, in case you didn't know, the SEC actually did hold a vote. Yesterday, we made a video talking about how salty Gary Gensler sounded. He made a comment on the Bitcoin ETF saying that, you know, the Bitcoin is still used for illicit activities and that they don't endorse it. But he did vote to approve the ETF, maybe just because he would get so much flack if he didn't. But we already have some advertising happening as well. Franklin Templeton, who has 1.5 trillion in AUM, maybe even more because a lot of the time that is old information and the market's done quite well over the last year. So Franklin Templeton with 107,000 followers, just went laser eyes. It's a new pro new profile pic. Now, a lot of people are making fun of this, saying that, you know, here we go again, because that happened a lot during the last bull run, and then we inevitably crashed. But still, this is free advertising. This is 3.4 million views. And even for people that already are allocated to Bitcoin, this shows, wow, they are really going out of their way to promote Bitcoin. If they're doing this, Publicly, what are they doing privately? How much are they going to push these ETFs? Kathy Wood also dropped uh, a new Bitcoin ETF commercial. I guess not technically Kathy, ARK Invest, but let's, let's play it. It's actually pretty good. I like it a lot. When it comes to Bitcoin, aren't you just a little bit curious? ARKB, regulated, direct access to Bitcoin, available through your existing investment account. Honestly, I think this is one of the better commercials. I think there's a little bit of comedy, right? There's a little punniness, but also it does really reflect how a lot of people feel, right? And it also hits on that fact, like, I think it's just too risky. 
don't you think there's more risk not having it? It hits on that kind of FOMO factor without pushing it too far, I think. I actually helped some family members buy Bitcoin for the first time yesterday, right before the ETF approval. So there are people getting into this. There is a lot of advertising that is starting and going to be pushed out. I mean, I've been watching a couple football games, um, the championship game, the uh, semifinals, quarterfinals, whatever it is. Um, and they are running ads for investments. I haven't watched commercials in a long time because I watch streaming services, but this will be pushed out to every single person in the U.S., across the world as well, eventually. But uh, we're already seeing a lot of advertising for it. We can see the trading too. The uh, IBIT, which I believe is the BlackRock um, ETF, it is up a decent amount, up 25% pre-market. I mean, that's nuts. Uh, so the volume has already started. As you can see, Let's see over here. We already have 100,000 in volume. And this is as of a little while ago. So 3 million already traded. Eric uh, Balkanis says already traded 2 million worth of shares. That would be a great first full day for a normal ETF, let alone at 6 a.m. before market. But the volume is likely BlackRock orchestrated, slowly loading in the BYOA cash. It lined up still though good early sign of a big day. Now, we are expecting 4 billion in ETF inflows day one. Keep in mind, we have 11 ETFs, 313 million in Bitcoin seeding. Uh, this will be an explosive launch. <laughs> this might be the biggest day ever for an ETF. And we have Kathy Wood now talking about her position. They asked her, how much do you actually have in Bitcoin? She kind of rambled a little bit, but listen to this. This is where she actually talks about it is that excluding ARC, the company, um, and excluding uh, real estate that uh, of the financial net worth, it's, it's at least 25%. Okay. Kathy Wood, thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate you joining us here. 25% of her, of her portfolio is in Bitcoin. That's excluding her company. That's not liquid. And excluding some real estate. So, I mean, think about that. She has 25%. She talks about Tesla, Roku, all that. And yet she has 25% in Bitcoin. That's nuts. I mean, that's got to be tied or close to tied to her top position. That That's really a significant amount. I mean, imagine if Tim Cook came out and said that because he's talked about how he holds some Bitcoin too. And uh, I think some Ethereum or if Elon said that, right, she might be one of those whales that we look at day after day. Now, we also heard about Elon Musk commenting on Bitcoin. He said yesterday on the spaces with Kathy Wood that he's open to the idea of using Bitcoin on X. And then I think some people thought he was sending mixed signals because later he said, um, he thinks about Bitcoin very little and he doesn't want to argue about Bitcoin or his or he'll sign off. <laughs> and he was more talking about like he doesn't want some Bitcoin argument about proof of work versus proof of stake, how it's the most secure way of processing transactions or storing data or anything like that. So, I mean, I kind of get it. He was asked to jump on the space. He doesn't want some argument about something real niche that he doesn't really care about. And he probably has had this happen before. People in Bitcoin are typically pretty hard headed. So, he owns Bitcoin personally and in his companies, he's like, okay, that's just enough. You know, I, I might even institute it on Twitter. I think basically if it supports free speech, if it supports making more money, he's going to add it. So I would not be surprised to see some kind of payments over here soon as well. I mean, we already know that they're trying to become, uh, trying to become an all-in-one app and they've already gotten like payments licenses. So I would not be surprised to see that over here where you can just go send a payment in Bitcoin USD uh, or USDT or something like that uh, straight and have a wallet here. So I think that is coming. That will be a big day for crypto as well. But let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Again, the first day, the first week doesn't really matter that much. I mean, it matters more than what happened right after the ETF approval. But What's really important is the drip over time. The fact that people will invest over time. And once we get financial advisors pushing this out, once we get more ad dollars pushing this out, this is just the start. So keep that in mind. Keep a long-term approach. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Hit subscribe. Turn on that bell notification. 
go follow me on Twitter. There's a link to Marjex and there's a link to HG Access. There's also a link down there to my own Patreon where I talk about what I'm buying and selling. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.